Hi, my name is Dior Allen, and this is my uh, <laughs> definition of love, or loving someone and having them love you back. Quick story about myself. Uh, there was a time and point in my life where I was very wild and reckless, and I got tired of it, really. I got tired of it after a while. I had a conversation with God, and I said, hey, if you could allow me to meet someone, that I could cherish and share my memories with and create memories with, I would slow down. Three months later after that talk, I met Diane Johnson, which is my fiance now. And um, two years and two months later, I know the definition of love. So, love is a word that I think no dictionary could ever describe because it's a feeling that no matter how many words you put together to try to explain it, it never does it justice. You know, you know, you know what I mean? It never does it justice. You want to say so much more, you want to express it so much more. And that's the beauty of it. You can never really figure it out or define it to the point you always want to, f you know, you're, you're constantly trying to show it so much. And people, I, I appreciate when she tries to show me love. Because I, I show her love too. And, you know, it feels great that I'm, it feels great that we're both on the same page. Loving someone, they're loving you on the same page, makes life so much better. You know, there was one point in time in life where my definition of my definition of success meant obtaining material things. And the moment I fell in love with Diane, all that stuff went out the window. It was gone. Loving her was, it was it. It was just like it was like somebody took a key to a lock, open it up, and took all the, the stupid layers off of me and touched the core of me that I was hidden so far. But when they touched it, it felt amazing. It felt amazing, it felt like I was alive. Love makes you feel alive. Loving Diane, she loving me. The most simplest thing feels like you just climb, you just climb Mount Everest. Me and Diane could hang out in the house watch a movie show. We could laugh and giggle. But those laughing and giggles and that time together feels like we just said we just became, you know, the president. You know, it just feels that good to us being together and loving each other. And you know, even when we're not aware, even when she's in New York and I'm working in a different country, even though we miss each other, there's this bond that's like you can't see it, but me and her feel it. There's some there's some crazy times where like I'm calling her on my phone and she's skyping me at the same time and we haven't talked at all to like try to synchronize our timing but it happens all the time like, I, I know when she misses me I know she knows she knows when she misses me as well I know when I miss her she knows when she misses me and it just works like that like loving someone is having this deep connection of pure pure you know, having courageous, being courageous, uh, being vulnerable to that person, sharing with that person, sharing your fears, your thoughts, your insecurities, letting that person in, and let them walk through your heart and see every aspect, every area, every corner of it, you know. I love the feeling of being in love. It makes you look at the word clearer. You know, love makes you look at the word clearer. It makes you love people more. It makes you see through things differently. You enjoy life way different. Because you know you have love. You know, the things that you were searching for doesn't matter anymore because everything you need is right here. Love. I don't care what you've accomplished. If you don't have love, it's, it doesn't mean anything. And I have accomplished a few things, but love, it's, it's just, it's my Oscar. Not the real Oscar of going to a war show and getting it. It's having her, me loving her, she loving me. That's my true Oscar right there. And being with her and day out and day in, going to sleep with her, waking up, praying together, eating and eating together, going to a comedy show together, laughing, giggling, joking, crying together. I never cried in front of a woman until her. And that said so much to me. The moment I, 
the moment that happened. Like right now, she's in New York working for four days. I'm on my third day, and I am dying right now because I miss her so much. I miss her completely. Um, and I truly believe this. What I'm about to say, I truly believe this. If you give your love and appreciate that person and give, really give, without you know, wanting, something, wanting something in return, if you give to them truly, I believe that they would give you 10 times more, 20 times more, 30 times more, 100 more back. Because knowing you trust each other in a field of love, it's just like, you know, it's just something, I can't find a word, but it feels like fireworks on the 4th of July, but every day, even in the bad times, even in the bad times, it feels like fireworks. Fireworks is amazing. I love that girl. Seriously. So everybody out there who's watching this video, I hope that everybody, everyone's submissions um, helps you find love in your life um, in all areas. Personal, work, you know, and occasional encounter with somebody in a bar or or at a bookstore, just, you know, love people. Because me loving Diane has allowed me to love my family more, to share love more, uh, to go into an audition and love everybody in the audition. <laughs> you know, um, I enjoy what I do now more. That's a big part. Man, I love what I do more now because I'm in love. So thank you very much. I hope that helped. <laughs> I hope, uh, you saw some part of my soul, and um, thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. I'm Dior Allen, and I'm in love. And I'm getting married in um, 2014. <laughs> Peace.